everyone, we're back with the Rabbi's Weekly Words of Wisdom, which means it's Wednesday again. We are one week away from Rosh Hashanah, which really surprised me today because I thought we had two weeks, but we only have had one week. And there, I'm using this because it's very hot. There's an expression I like to use, and it is like this. Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. I say it again, today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. So here we are today, and thank God today is fine. We did it, we woke up, we said thank you Hashem for, for our good health, for giving us this wonderful day. And just to say that you have to trust Hashem, put your faith in Hashem, Hashem is behind you, in front of you, He will never let you down. So don't worry, everything will be wonderful. And here's the rabbi. Uh, hello everybody, <laughs> so nice to be here again. Uh, this coming Shabbat, we are going to be reading two parashiot, Nitzavim and Vayelet. Sometimes you can um, look at the titles or the names of the parashiot, and you can automatically come to a certain conclusion of what you have to learn from this parasha. The parasha begins first is that Nitzavim and Vayelech. The first one in Nitzavim where Moshe Rabbeinu is about to leave the people of Israel it's going to stay behind the, uh, the River Jordan and everybody is going to go through the River Jordan exactly. to the Promised Land. And it said that You are standing here today in front of the Lord your God and it is to going to making a covenant with you, the people of Israel and God. And when you say Nitzavim, and then the next parasha, which is Vayelech, that means to go, to walk. In a way, if you want to, to move forward, if you want to achieve the future, you have to stand firm, because the word Nitzavim, it means to stand, but firm. If you stand firm in your principle, if you stand firm in you, what you believe, you stand firm in what you have been gifted by God Almighty, then you will be able to move forward. And this is, in a way, a look at life, that you are looking forward because you are confident in what you know and what you believe. So, Moshe Rabbeinu tells the people of Israel, he is just by the... River Jordan, everybody is going to cross. And the people of Israel know that this is the end, but they know that this is also a new beginning. And so he is telling them, You are standing today. What is the. You, I can imagine, I could imagine what must have been going through the mind of the children of Israel listening to Moshe Rabbeinu saying uh, today I'm going to make a covenant God is going to make a covenant with you today you are going to stand before God they must be asking we already stood before God at Sinai already we, already, we already made a covenant with him too is that a new covenant or is it a renewal of the covenant? What is going on? They knew there must have been something special, what Moshe Rabbeinu is talking about, but they didn't know what. You imagine somebody, a young lad, asking Moshe Rabbeinu, please, what do you mean today? We were with, we, we were with God was with us all the time, and we, we were in a covenant with God. He was leading us in a cloud of, of uh, in, in a cloud 
during the day and a cloud of fire during the night all the time during the desert. So Moshe Rabbeinu is telling that, that child, you know, today, why I'm telling you today? Because every day is today. Tomorrow and the day after is also going to be today. And therefore, you have to, uh, you have to consider the most important day of your life is today. Why? Because even though you might have the nostalgia of yesterday, and especially now, which is before Rosh Hashanah Kippur, and we have to make what we call Cheshbon and Nefes, which is an account of our soul, what happened to ourselves. And many times we might be thinking in, in, in uh, oh, I am sorry what I did. Perhaps I should have done something. You might be thinking of the past. Today is the most important. You must think about the past, but you will have to live in today. And today is the most important day of your life. Also, there is the tendency to have illusion about the future. That most probably the future is so, is so important. I have illusion of what it is in the future. Nobody can promise you anything. But today, when you live today, knowing before the Lord you God, that means you have conviction and you are practicing your conviction today, then you will be able to be successful and to go forward into the future. And that is Vayelech you will be able.